Hi and welcome to IC Kicks. On today's show I've got a super good one for you. I'm really excited about this as I didn't think I was going to get it on the show quite this soon and it's one that I've been hunting for and trying to get to get into my collection. It's this, the second generation buggy from Team Associated. It's the RC10B2. Now this is the racer edition 9000, not the sport. So it's got a few little extra bits and pieces. Also it's a bag of bits. So it is a project. Uh, hopefully I can find all the bits that I need to put it back to shelf queen status. So in this episode, let's unbox it, take a look at what it is, the condition, and uh, hopefully I can get the parts that are missing. Hit it, Charlie. The RC10 B2 is a true second generation RC10 buggy. The original RC10 came out in 1984 and is the car that has won four of the five team associated one tenth off road IFMAR World Championship titles. The original RC10 won, won the first ever one tenth IFMAR off road worlds in 1985 held in Delmar, California. This was followed by three consecutive world title wins, Sydney, Australia in 1989, Detroit, Michigan in 1991 and Basildon, England in 1993. It also has a total of 15 national title wins since 1984. The introduction of our new transmission and hard anodized PTFE coated shocks in 1990 for the 1991 Worlds had given Team Associated a consistent competitive edge to win all of the off-road Worlds from 1991 through to 1995. The RC10 during its 11 years was updated through various models and has compiled the most successful win record in the hobby. As good as this record is, Team Associated were aware that competition was catching up on technology. Team Associated always felt that they have a competitive advantage and it was decided that they needed to develop a truly new design to maintain that advantage. The results of the Team Associated extensive research and development is the new RC10 B2. The B2 starts with a new moulded composite chassis designed to equal or exceed the strength and rigidity of aluminium but with reduced weight. It has increased front and rear suspension travel and a new longer front shock. This was done to improve the rough track performance and handling. This new suspension geometry gives you more on power steering. The bolt on aluminium nose plate and tail section still give you the dampening ability of aluminium at the suspension mounting points. The B2 transmission is a new design that incorporates a larger 2.4 to 1 differential. This new larger differential will increase the torque handling capacity of the diff and increase time between rebuilds. There is also a new lightweight moulded composite rear shock strut for improved strength and rigidity. Team Associated have developed a new universal axle design, like the T2 rear axle, using a smaller 3 16th diameter axle shaft. This reduces the weight and rotating mass of the drivetrain and allows a new larger ball bearing in the hub carriers to improve bearing life. The new rear suspension arm allows you to change the wheelbase length for different steering and traction characteristics without having to change the rear suspension mounts. Everything is designed to give you a low centre of gravity and maximum suspension travel and chassis side clearance. To finish off the kit you still receive the race proven hard anodized PTFE coated shocks and PTFE shock pistons, one piece fluorescent yellow wheels and Proline XTR compound competition tyres with foam inserts for the rear. Associated torque control transmission clutch and a new low profile body design just for the B2. At its first major event, the RC10 B2 top qualified and won the 1996 IFMAR 1/10th Off-Road World Championships at Yatabi Arena in Tsukuba City, Japan. This gave Team Associated its fifth Off-Road Worlds title. It took five out of ten places in the A main and finished first, second, fourth, fifth and seventh. So yes, I am super chuffed that I've got a B2 and they are quite rare being that they were only out for two years before they were surpassed by the B3. Not that there's a massive amount of difference between the B2 and B3 and a lot of people upgraded their B2s to B3s as Team Associated did an upgrade kit. Now that was 9022 and 9023. So to actually find a B2, uh, especially in good condition, is tough going. That's why I didn't think I was going to get one, but I have have but I know what you're thinking just looking at it doesn't look that great does it but it might not look that great but when you turn it over you realize it's actually in really good condition I am super chuffed with that as changing the body is not that difficult but in this box is also a new body for it as well not a wing just a body so I have 
almost everything I need to turn it back into a lovely shelf queen. There is a box of bits and pieces in here, which we'll go through in a little bit. When it came, this was in bits. I just put it back together in quickly as it didn't fit in the box. Now there was two B2 kits that came out. There was the 9000 and then there was the Sport, which was 9011. Now this one was actually the 9000, which is the actual B2. You can usually tell on the box, it says B2 there or it says Sport. Now the B2 9000 came with bearings and a motor and a few other little bits and pieces where the Sport didn't. Now, I'm not sure if this came with an ESC. In the list, it doesn't actually say, so I'm not sure. If anybody knows, comment below. I need to look through the manual. Maybe in the manual it'll tell me. Not sure what motor it came with either. Now, Team Associated did put out quite a few different motors as they released kits, and they changed them quite a bit. There's no like definitive guide, so I'm not sure trying to find a couple of team associated motors quite difficult these days especially in the uk now getting parts for this is a real challenge uh, especially in the uk but luckily there is quite a few extra bits and pieces in the box so let's crack it open and see what you get now a few of you will notice that i am missing a few bits there's no battery uh, holder I need to find one of those there was one in the box but it's too long so that's from something else also if you look on the shocks these are not correct there should be actual collars with that you do up uh, friction collars so I need to try and trace down some of those as well but apart from that everything else seems to be okay right let's open the box and take a look at all the other bits and pieces that I've got so the box is not looking that great it's very very washed out from sun it actually looks like the wheels were white but they should be yellow yes that's how faded the box is but it's nice to have the box anyway uh, right so these are the little bits and pieces I've got and it's a bit of a gem so as you can see I have the original decals which is brilliant super chuffed about that one now we also get tires that are in perfect condition never used that's the front set and then we have the rears as well and they've never been used i guess when it was taken out to be raced the tires were changed to something else so i can use those again but as you'll notice there's no rims but luckily i managed to get hold of a set of rims they're from j concept so they're aftermarket ones but they fit this because on the B2, you don't have hex, it's just a pin. So the actual hub itself goes straight onto the pin, not on the front, obviously on the rear, and then the front's just rotating freely uh, on bearings. So getting hold of front and rear uh, rims, I thought was gonna be a problem, but it turns out it was okay. So they're on their way right now. So as soon as they arrive, I can put the new tires on the rims and put them on the car. We've also got some extra bits. That's a diff gear. Then we have a bag of bits and pieces as well. Now we've got some arms. We've got some bulkhead parts, some bits that have been used in a, an old diff. We've got some extra universal drive shafts. Let's have a look. There's so much stuff in here. Let's tip it out and have a look. Might as well do it properly, huh? So some extra universal drive shafts. They look like they've been used before. Shock in, inside the, oh, it actually tells you these are threes, ones, twos, and threes. The Teflon coated um, pistons. What else have we got? So we've got some arms. We've got an old bottom mount. Uh, some front mounts. A full set of uprights for the front. These are obviously used because they're all dirty. Then we've got, <laughs> I seem to have many front uprights. Um, the one that's actually on the car is a carbon fiber one. Um, but there is different versions, I guess. And these are the short ones as far as I know. I'll have to check to see if these have been upgraded to the B3, which are longer, but I don't think so. Some old diff bits, not sure what that is. <laughs> That's pretty much what you get in there, some screws. Then we have, what's this here? A rear upright and some actual shock pistons and a few random screws and ball joints. Then in this one, what have we got in here? 
So it's a real treasure trove, a treasure treasure trove of bits and pieces. Front steering. Now I need to check to see whether the steering's been upgraded on this because obviously I want to set it back to be a B2, so I need to check as well. Uh, some Allen keys, some bearings. Oh, they're handy. Some front, uh, some rear wing mounts, and they look like they're new, so that's good. I can use those. A uh, shim. A shim. <laughs> Another upright uh, B2 front shock strut. So it depends. I need to check to see whether this is the correct one that needs to be on the car versus that one. And then we have another one as well. I guess people thought that these were going to be they were what's going to break when you're out racing. So they've got quite a few. Now, this is the battery uh, clip, but it's too long. So this is from something else. So I need to source one of these. So if you've got a B2 or B3 battery tra tray thing, this, uh, but shorter version of it, get in contact at Gavin Evans at rckicks.com as I need it, uh, especially if you're in the UK. Then what else have we got here? Some uh, thrust balls. Then we have the manual, which again is great to have. I've got everything, the box, the manual and loads of paperwork. So I should be able to find the part numbers that I need. And it's in great condition as well. Then we have, this is excellent. <laughs> So this is a promotional, there it is there. So currently when this magazine came out, it actually shows you've got the uh, championship edition. Uh, you've got different ones and there's the B2 stealth. And then you've got some others as well. Uh, RC10 GT, that's the gas truck, RC10 T2. Some people have been asking me to get one of these on the show. I might do if I can find one at a reasonable price. Wheels or bits and pieces. These I really like. These can be really handy for tracking down bits and pieces. So the stickers and stuff like that. So it gives you the information and the part numbers. Then we have another one. These are all the part numbers I'm guessing for the whole kit. That's handy. I'm definitely going to need that. I'll have to look up those parts that I need. But then we've got some more bits and pieces. <laughs> Front shock sh strut. Uh, that's the little dust things. Then we've got, what have we got here? Diff drive rings, two new ones. That's pretty cool. And then we have another associated kit. I must have a read of these. These are really cool. I mean, look at that. That's really nice to read. And that's pretty much everything in the kit. So luckily I have everything I need, hopefully, to put it back together again and have a nice shelf queen. I um, need to get some vintage electronics. Actually, I think I might have some that will go in this. So there you go, that's my B2. It will be back on the show again as we do a full restoration on it and get it all looking lovely and spiffy. And I will probably try and get a pro body painted for it as well. So if you haven't already, please like and subscribe so you don't miss that. Also, uh, this happened. So if you're not subscribed, you're not gonna see this. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.